All right, quick tip, Tech Thursdays, whatever you want to call it. So today we had a guy that's wanting to know about jumping across two batteries to get back to 12 volts. I don't recommend that. It can cause lots of problems later down the road. Whenever you're jumping across two batteries, what's, what's gonna happen is you're gonna pull more power from two batteries than you are from the entire pack. And that can cause problems when you go to charge. Uh, over time, you're gonna develop two weaker batteries in the pack out of the six. I always recommend getting a reducer. There's lots of places you can find them. We sell them, you buy them on Amazon. They come in different sizes. Uh, you can get them in different amp ratings. The ones that I like to install are the Reliance 30 amp reducers. That's what I run on most of my customers' carts. That's what I run on a lot of carts that I build. Are there bigger ones? Yeah, you can get some pretty high dollar ones that go up almost 80 amp or over 80 amps. So, Let's dive in, I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so we have a Reliance 30 amp DC converter, step down reducer, whatever you want to call it. These are pretty simple to wire. You have your main harness, and then it comes with a kit for you to tie back into all your stuff. Now, these aren't that hard to wire. You're gonna have a yellow wire going to the positive on your 48 volt pack. Then you're gonna have a black that goes to the negative Let's see if I can get it. Those two go to your positive and negative on your 48 volt pack. Your green runs to your key switch, or you can do what I do, and I run it over to the activation wire on my solenoid so I don't have to run a whole other long wire throughout my cart. Then you have a constant 12 volt, which I normally take out because most of the stereos I install nowadays don't have memory. But if you have a head unit that has memory, you're gonna wanna use that for your constant 12 volt power. And this is your switched 12 volt power. That's why it's a much bigger cable. So when I put one of these in, I always put this in with some type of fuse block. So on Joseph Bear's cart, made a little bracket, got that up out of the way, nice and neat. Now I hadn't finished, I still gotta tuck on my wires. And there's another reducer for the storm body. That runs all the stuff off the storm body. If you come over here, I have everything wired back into this. The red wire comes up here to your positive, the black wire comes to the negative, and then I run an extra ground wire and I run it to the pack just because I'm crazy like that. Then I just plug in all my 12 volt accessories. So we're running a 400 watt amp. It's tied in right here. It has an activation wire tied in here and then a constant power wire. So whenever I turn the run toe switch on and you turn your key on, this turns on your reducer. Whenever you turn your key off, it'll kill pack to all this. That way you don't have to worry about discharging your batteries. So it's always better to only have to plug into your, your main positive and your main negative. Jumping across packs, that's not a good idea. Can you do it? Yeah, but like I said, in the long run, you're gonna end up zapping two batteries and you can cause other problems down the road. So I hope that helps. If y'all have any other questions, let me know. On a side note, know that not all reducers are gonna wire the same. Some will have a five wire setup, some will have a four, some will have a activation wire, some don't. If you get one that you buy off of Amazon that doesn't have a activation wire, I do recommend you buying a 12 volt switch to put in line with your pack. That way, if you do decide to park the cart for the weekend or you're not gonna be driving it for a while, you can still kill the power to the reducer where it's not draining your batteries. I think that's everything. If I forgot something, leave me a comment, let me know. Later.